Today here at Kimco, we're going to show you how to change out a heating element on a Hakko FX888D. It's actually pretty simple and they don't really burn out that much, but they can. And when they do, you can replace it by getting the part from us and following these steps I'm going to show you. The first step is to go ahead and take the burnt out or the uh, soldering iron that needs a replacement and unassemble it. The first thing you want to do is to take note where the wires go into the little circuit board there. You can typically do this either by writing it down or taking a photograph of it really helps. Maybe with your phone or something, take a photograph. But also there is included with this new heating element basic instructions that has a diagram so you can also reference that. Now what you want to do is to go ahead and clip the wires off of the bad um, heating element or off of the part that has the bad heating element. Now what you need to do is to clean out the through hole solder joints. It's pretty simple here we have, um, we have another active or usable soldering iron as a heat source and then a, a sucker. You can also use a desoldering gun, whatever it is. You have four of the holes that you need to clean out before you can insert the new wires. After you, you have removed the wires, you'll clean out the through hole holes so you can insert the new ones. And now we're getting ready to insert the new wires or the wires for the new heating element, I should say, into the circuit board, getting it ready to resolder. So you can see that we've inserted the wires through, positioned a heating element. Now we'll get ready to solder. We'll solder these up and then we'll trim the wires back, the excess wires back. To make our job a little easier, we're bringing in a Hakko Omnivice. It's a C1390C. And basically it will uh, hold our board, kind of give us a hands-free while we solder. So we have them, them re-soldered, and we're just going to trim up the excess wires. Now that you basically reinstalled a brand new heating element, it's time to reassemble, um, reassemble your handpiece. First thing is the spring that you notice we're installing right now. That's what makes the tip ESD safe. Basically, any static can be transferred from the tip or wherever all the way down, and that's how we know, or that's how we make it ESD safe, right? And just go ahead and reassemble the whole thing, and you're back in action. And if you need any of these parts, or if you have questions, give us a call, or reach out to us via gokimco.com, and uh, we'll, we'll help you out. Thanks a lot.